Oh. Oh, look at what we got, bruh. Hey, it's me and you in the ring. Yo. That's six years in the making, for real, for real. Hey, yo, I'm excited, bro. For real. Like, yesterday you was teaching me how to roll, and hey, hey, look at it. Hey, I'm looking forward to it, for real. It's gonna be a pleasure. It's gonna be a pleasure. Yes, sir. Let's go. Carolina, look, you, you talk to everybody. You know all the inside scoop. Do you have any idea what's in the bag? Absolutely not. Booker, Booker is extremely private, so any, anything could be in that. What is it, a red? It's like a red, very red, red, red blanket. Red, red velour, a blanket. A red velour bag, it looks like, <laughs> and along with Edge Stone. Now, here's the story also, Chris Russo, with Edge Stone. In three weeks' time, he'll be taking on Gaspar Hernandez for the number one contendership for the Reality Wrestling Championship. Of course, this is the finals of that Gold Rush gauntlet. So with Booker holding something in his hand, it's like, is he going to bestow or bequeath something? I'm interested to find out what this is. Bequeath is a good SAT word. You must have gone to school in the Northeast. We don't say that in the South. What up? How y'all doing tonight? Guys, listen, listen. This is the Rise to Wrestling Royalty. Give it up, y'all. Give it up. And you know something? We already know who's going to be the top guy here at Reality of Wrestling at the end of the day, right? No, 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 no. It's not going to be, it's not going to be Zilla Fod 2, okay? Because he's a rat. <laughs> because he stole something from my man right here, Ed Stone. Everybody knew it. Everybody saw it. So guess what I'm going to do? Guess what I'm going to do? Guess, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. The crowd loves the reality wrestling champion Zilla Fatu, the main one. You know what? You know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, like I say, this is the man who I look at in this company as royalty that's Ed Stone. So guess what? I went in my pocket and I spent my money to get something special for this man right here. Because you know why? You know why? I'm a man and I'm not ashamed to say it because I love him. He's the best. He representative here at Reality of Wrestling, damn it. 
So if it's who and Stone, I got you something special. Well, Boker's now going to reveal what's in the bag. <laughs> wow. Wait a minute. Wow. Championship. Well, look at that. It says, it says King Booker T champion on it's it. Got, it's got a picture of Booker T on the title. Royalty to royalty. Ed Stone, I knight you. I, what? Did he just knight Ed Stone? He just knighted Ed Stone. Now hit my damn music. The King Booker T championship it, it, is up, now... Around the waist of Ed Stone. It's weird to me, Carolina. It's like you're giving a participation trophy to the first loser. What? I'm not here to question the boss, man. I was about to say, Rooster, you want to keep your job, you better keep that Don't trap shut. Too comfortable. Well, now we know in three weeks' time we will see the now newly minted King Booker T champion taking on Gaspar Hernandez. The winner of that contest will be taking on the main one. Zilla Fa 2 at Reality of Wrestling Sub Zero. Sub Zero? Sub Zero. That's some huge news right there. That's below zero, but it's Sub Zero. Is that Kelvin or Celsius? That's Fahrenheit. Oh, sorry. Come on, man. That Northeastern education. Well, we'll <laughs> see what happens here in two weeks. Also, Zilla Fa 2 will be defending his Reality Wrestling Championship against the Tongan Troublemaker, right? The, 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 the man, Hoka. Gazilla might not even make it in three weeks' time here, depending on what happens with the main one. I'm excited. Well, we will see what else this week has to transpire on the Outer Wrestling. Will all day Terrell Kimba in our main event. Miss Little Mighty Mia, Mia Friday, your a former Reality of Wrestling Women's Champion? Disgusting. Maybe the most disgusting in history. Listen, I used to be the face of this division. I was a women's champion, a whole lot better champion than you. And I'm back, and I got Tiffany with me now. Ooh, and I would hate to see what happened if we just kicked you out the locker room. You know, I'm talking to you. Do you hear me? If y'all got a problem with me, we can do this right here. Oh, right you can barely hold that title. Right You have a problem here? Hmm. And Alex, when did you ever run things in reality of wrestling? And girl, you need to be a little bit more humble because you just got here. So if you guys want to fight, we can settle it tonight in the ring. Mia and I versus y'all two skanks. You good? Don't worry about that. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And here we go with our first match of the evening. After seeing that Booker T Championship being, what was the word you used? Be bequeathed? Bequeathed. Bequeathed to Edge Stone. Now someone that would love to get his title bequeathed back to him, Eric Lockhart in that television championship. The grind begins again. How you feeling over there, Carolina? I'm good. in the flesh. <laughs> I like how about 75% of our audience has no idea who that is, but awesome. Well it, well, it looks like Eric Lockhart having some words with our referee, Val, as we get ready for a man who can fly like no other.
Started his reality wrestling career as a part of a very successful tag team, but now has transitioned into a singles career with championship aspirations. But now he finds himself in an interesting position, Chris Russo. Not only is he in a match with anybody, he's in a match with the person who is credited for training him for this very sport in Eric Lockwood. Six years ago, a bright-eyed, bushy tailed Eli Knight walks into a wrestling school. Who is the trainer? Eric Lockhart. Taught a lot to Eli. The question becomes in my mind, are there other things that Eli's picked up along the way? Well, that's the old, you know, I've, I've taught you everything I know. I know you have. It's the old Carolina. It's the old, I've taught you everything you know, mm -hmm. but I didn't teach you everything I know. Right? Yeah, I mean, it's teacher versus student. Eric Lockhart's been training Eli Knight for years, and now they're going off against each other. He feels a bit slighted. Oh, there goes the ringing of soccer mom chants here at the Walker Texas Lawyer Arena. Is that supposed to be a diss? Because, you know, soccer moms are the backbone of American society. A unless they're wearing mom jeans. Well, here we go. Eric Lockhart and Eli Knight. And to me, Carolina, what, what does a win over your teacher do for your confidence if you're Eli Knight? I mean, it's like uh, the Ninja Turtles over... Uh, what, what is Master it? Splinter? Master Splinter, the, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like beating Master Splinter. I mean, you're going to feel like you're the greatest. Would you agree with that assessment? Listen, don't talk about Leo like that. <laughs> don't talk about Leo like that. They never turn on Splinter like that. Well, Eli, he believes he's the Raphael, the leader of the pack. And if anybody could take That's on Leo. Master Splinter, it's him. It's Leo. Leo's the leader. No, everyone knows Raphael's really the main one. They don't even call him Raphael anymore. What do they call him? Raph. Raph. Like, Raph. Oh, gosh. You know why? Because that's respect. <laughs> As we see Eric and Eli showing that they know each other very well. I don't think we've seen really an offensive maneuver yet. Look at that. Oh. Oof, there we go. I, you always hear the cliche, Scott. Oh, watch Cut. out. Oh. You always hear the cliche, sky's the limit. Yeah. When someone can actually exit the stratosphere <laughs> like Eli Knight, there is no limit. And look at that. You see Eli saying, I was that close. I almost got you. Er and Eric is the smoothest, but Eli is disrespectfully athletic. So who can come out on top? Yeah, that athleticism really does go a long way, obviously. But to me, you can be the most athletic. You can be disrespectfully athletic. But if you aren't have that in-ring IQ, if you don't have that in-ring IQ, really all that goes out the window. Eric Lockhart is a seasoned professional wrestler. He has won championships in tag. He has won championships in singles. He has been at the reality of wrestling for more than a decade. This is a home game, really, for Eric when you think about it. Do you feel a bit of disrespect if you lose to somebody like Eli, somebody that's your student? Do you feel defeated? I mean, what, what would that feel like for Eric? I think that's a great question. I feel like it would put you in a crisis of confidence a little bit, wouldn't it? Eric doesn't lack many things. Confidence is also one of those. But, yeah, certainly a black... Oh, my God! Oh, look at that. Holy oh. smokes! Bam! Oh. Cover. One, two, and no. Not Why enough. like an eagle. But look, you see the face of Eric Lockhart. He realizes, yeah, you know what? This kid's still got something <laughs> to show and to prove. Oh! Oftentimes when you're young and you're spry, whoa! Listen, there's no thing for Eli to lose in a situation Cover right here. Cover one, two, and that is not enough. But for the third time, we see a quick yeah. cover coming from Eli Knight. There's no caution to throw into the wind because Eli doesn't know any better. Wow. Oh. Whoa. But then Eric does something like that to be able to catch his breath. Then, all right, comb his hair, his Fabio-like hair. Let's hope that no bird flies into his nose. That'd be bad. <laughs> And this is where his intelligence comes in because if you blink, Eli can get the best of you. So Eric is really showing that his wrestling night. Oh. Another quick one, two, another quick cover. And right now you see the look of frustration on the smoothest Eric Lockhart. Oh, oh, oh right oh. there on the top of the spine and holds on to it. Look at that. Turned him inside out. Sheer power from Eric Lockhart, realizing he needs to make a cover here. One, two.
two and no. Eli Knight took some time away from the squared circle. We saw him make a return at Reality Wrestling Gold Rush, competing in that Gold Rush gauntlet. Yeah, and Eric pinned Eli Knight and his teammate Ryan Davidson, they were the team, by grabbing the tights, holding the tights no less. And then Eric in the back earlier told me, well, ipso facto, by the transitive property, Eric Lockhart has a win over Ryan Davidson and deserves a shot of the Texas Championship. So yeah, I don't think that's how that works, but I appreciate his ingenuity and that reverse neck breaker there. When we talk about smoothness, this man is smooth with the moves. There he is right there, Bo, taking time to appreciate his work, as any great artist might do. Oh! Eli Knight, though, is, is, is something, to go back to what you were saying, Carolina, is so fast, Chris, and so explosive. He really could change the balance of power in a moment's notice. It's one thing if you're a multi-tool athlete. It's another thing when you have a few tools, but you are an absolute master class in it like this right one, now. One, two, and another. And this is actually something that I'm noticing in this match right now. Eli has developed a little bit more of some technical prowess. So even with his time away, He's learned and gotten better. Well, yeah, it definitely feels like he's thinking about this from a strategy standpoint and not just, oh my goodness, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, that was not good. That was not good. That was a nasty fall. That was a nasty fall. And Eric is gonna take oh! every advantage of that knee across the head. Oh my goodness, cover, one, two, and not enough. But you wonder how much was taken out of Eli in that moment. And that's the thing, we've seen Eli do so many incredible moves inside the squared circle. Each one of those moves come with a very high degree of risk. And we just saw that on display. The line between connecting flush and completely missing the mark, very, very thin. And speaking of, and he's, Eric is smooth and within a moment's notice he's turned him into a pretzel. Yeah, yeah no, I mean, he's, he's definitely smart. And you're right, Chris, about finding that sweet spot on the bat, right? You can either knock it 500 feet out of Minute Maid, or you swing it and miss it. Trying for that perfect, perfect. Now Eric Lockhart feels a, a, a shift in the balance of power in this athletic exhibition between these two superstars, oh. and he's taking his time here. I like that little bit of fire and flair from Eli to play for oh. something like that. Damn. <laughs> that was a shot. Looked like it had a little bit of extra on that one. Boom! Oh, what? Where did that come from? Eli off the second row. Oh. Beautiful. Springboard moonsault. One, two, is it enough? No. Oh. Our referee was right there, and we were a split second away from this being over. Class is still in session. Oh. Oh, man. There's a bit of a live wire there. Oh! Enziguri! What just happened? Oh my gosh! And Enziguri and Eric Lockhart is in a bad position. A precarious position. Foot caught in the ropes. Eli just climbed up imaginary steps to get all the way that high. Now, we're gonna see two men go possibly flying. Eli Knight. Up at the top, where is he thinking, Chris? Oh, no. my oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not what you want to see. Eli Knight falling off the top there, and his shoulder looked like draped over that steel ring barricade. I don't know if it was the sternum, shoulder, hold on. Oh man. Referee Val's calling for the end of the match. That does not look Ladies good. and gentlemen, due to Eli Knight having an injury, this match is no longer continuing. Oh man, that's not what you want to see. It looks like Eli's seriously injured. Do we have some medical injured. personnel yeah, out here? Eli is writhing, absolutely writhing in pain. And Eric kind of looks a little bit beside himself as well. I don't think this match officially ended one way or the other. Carolina, let's just hope that Eli's going to be okay here as Reality of Wrestling rolls on. Yeah, we could hope that he's okay. Uh, but it seems like class is still going to be in session.
Emily May standing by at Reality of Wrestling and my special guest at this time, Max Castellano. Welcome. Always great to see you. But I have heard, and many of us here at Row have heard, that you have put the champions on blast. Can you elaborate? If you haven't been keeping up, Max Castellanos won the King of the Summer Battle Royal, which means I can pick any champion. Clay Roberts, you're not safe. Zilla Fatu, you're not safe. And next week, Ryan Davison versus Cam Cole for the Texas Championship, a championship I never lost. All you boys are not safe. So TikTok, el tiempo se les acaba. Porque yo soy el chingón de Texas, Max Castellanos. Thank you for your time, Max. Gracia and Tiffany Nieves are the tag team, but joining us for this special broadcast is the Reality of Wrestling Women's Champion, Rochelle Chanel, number five. Hola, thanks well, for having me. Well, thank you for joining us, and I'm sure you want a front row seat to all four of these women who are gonna be there tonight, because any one of them could be trying to come for that Reality of Wrestling Women's Championship. Oh, well, I don't care if they're coming for my title, but I'm done with the old system. I'm the new system. Oh, oh there you go. title speaking of championships that you see there that was in the hands of Promise Braxton the inaugural Sherry Martell classic champion you want to talk about confidence Promise had it in droves already and you add that on yes. top of everything else okay she's giving Rain General I get it well right now Mia Friday okay. and the pink dream Alex Gracia starting off this contest and, uh, you know, Promise Braxton coming to the aid of Mia Friday seems to be a little bit out of her character, but uh, maybe winning that Sherry Martell Classic gives her a certain sense of uh, leadership, perhaps? I don't know. What do you think about that, Rochelle? You are the women's champion. Promise is well-respected in the locker room, no doubt. And so I'm glad she's taking that leadership role to be a mentor for uh, little Mia. What do you think about that, Russo? It's another side, right? You talk about growth. Growth and development as a tag into Promise Braxton. There is a reason why Booker T is so high on Promise Braxton. Oh. Promise Braxton, the chosen one, the winner of the inaugural first ever Sherry Martell Classic. She is the Sherry Martell Classic champion. You saw that beautiful title. Wait, one, two. Around the way, she also has held the Reality Wrestling Women's Championship before, as have you. And I, I, I'm sure you're looking at these four Tag thinking about, thank you, Chris. You're, I'm sure you're looking at these four thinking um, who might be next in line. Yeah. Well, I would love to go against 
promise back Braxton on another occasion. Oh. Maybe champ against champ. Oh, yeah, a little title for Look title at that. Yeah. Wow, as Alex Gracia comes in now. Ooh, that's oh, okay. what you get for turning your back. Alex Grazi, the Pink Dream, San Antonio, Texas native, taking her talents to the West Coast. Cover one and a kick out. She competed in the Sherry Martel Classic, getting to the semifinal round where she was unsuccessful, but nevertheless had a hell of a showing at the Sherry Martel Classic. She didn't get the job done. She did not get the job done. Oh! And nor did Mia. Mia eliminated in the first round of that. That was definitely the biggest surprise at the Sherry Martel Classic. Huge upset from the former interim women's champion, interim diamond division champion, where she won the title, and then it was taken away from oh. her by the woman sitting to my left. <laughs> and Tiffany Nieves has the tag here. What do we know about Tiffany, Chris? Well, cover might be champion there. Uh, well, look, NWA star. That says a lot right there. Big stage, big opportunities. Uh, it's nothing new for Tiffany Nieves. I think, I think she's the Exodus Pro Women's Champion as well. So a lot of a lot of championships will follow her to the reality of wrestling. But of course, there's a reason why every professional athlete in the in reality of wrestling or in wrestling in general cover one, two, and a kick out in wrestling in general want to come down here to the Walker, Absolutely. Texas lawyer to show what they have in front of the over 802,000 subscribers to the Reality Wrestling YouTube channel, to our CW39 audience here in Houston, and all our television affiliates around the nation. Alex Gracia now tagged in. Alex fancies herself as sort of the old regime of diamonds. Oh here at the row and is looking to reassert herself at the top of the food chain. Cover one, two. Promise Braxton Ray to break that one up if yeah. she's needed. You talk about top of the food chain, Rochelle. I mean, right now you clearly sit at the top of the pyramid. Yes, I do. Alex is talking a big game, though. She wants to get back on top. <laughs> well, Alex well. Can broke herself up to my rank. <laughs> I think Alex Grossi should have looked for a pin right there instead of uh, appreciating her work, but nevertheless, her and Mia Friday doing battle inside the squared circle. What yep. I appreciate about Alex Gracia, not is only is she a tireless performer worker inside the wrestling, inside the squared circle. She's an entrepreneur. She's got her own beauty line. I love Cover. it. And could be One, a winner. Two. You should get some of her moisturizer. I Have you had some of it? I, I got the moisturizer. I got the headband. Chris, My your wife hands look a little bit dry. Oh, they it's do not look for a me. Dry. Oh, you me. didn't get it. Oh, okay. No. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Tag into Tiffany. Now, I appreciate asking Tiffany earlier. She fancies herself the princess of the reality of wrestling. So I asked Tiffany, hey, are you looking forward to ascending the throne one day and becoming queen? Her response, ew, no. Queens have responsibilities. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, you've been in there with Tiffany uh, yes. one, in a one-on-one -on -one capacity yes, at the I Sherry have. Martell Classic. What did you yes. What did you see in that contest between the two of you? Well, Tiffany, she's a total diva, and so I had to quiet that noise and take care of business. When you did that, cover one, two, oh, almost surprise win there for Mia oh. Friday. But this, but I will tell you, Alex and Tiffany are doing a great job of not allowing a tag to Promise Braxton. Mia hasn't gotten within two to three feet of Promise. Oh, you oh, could be right here. Watch out. Almost, almost. Okay. And Promise, our reigning Sherry Martell Classic champion, just once she needs a tag to get into this match. I appreciate Promise Braxton. Oh. oh, not appreciating that from Tiffany Nieves. <laughs> well, you know that, you know, I, I like Tiffany. Tagging out, okay. I wouldn't advise that. No. You don't want to piss Promise Braxton off. That's no. one of the things you do not want to do. You don't want that. She's no nonsense, so you don't want to mess with wow. her. Wow, <laughs> very nice look at how oh, look Alex Grassi has rolled up in. Oh, man. In oh, the man. middle of the ring. In the middle of the ring. Nowhere close to the ropes. Nowhere close to her tag team. Part of the way. reverse. One, two, and no. And there's the tag. Oh, boy. Certainly not the smartest thing for Alex to completely lose sight of the tag in to the Sherry Martell Classic winner. Bam! Look at that promise, Braxton. It's a house on fire right now. Alex Gracia, full head of steam. Looking for that reverse. Oh, man, look at that. 
Oh! Jesus. Face first into the mat. Puerto Rican princess right here. Tiffany Evans. Oh! She's got a kick to the back of the... Oh! Going for a cover. One, two, and no. Oh. Alex Gracia there to break it up just in case. Rochelle, I, I see you laughing over there, but that might be in your near future. No, no, no. no. That's great veteran instinct to turn oh. something or nothing into something. And now, Promise has got it going on. She's feeling it. Broken Promise. Oh, no. Oh, cover. One, two, three. It's academic. Promise and Mia with the victory. Bryson and Mia Friday victorious, and you could, Rochelle, be looking at one of your future opponents for the title that you currently hold. All right. I want all those guys to win, but not against me. Emily May standing by at Reality of Wrestling with my special guest, Will Alday. Will, you officially made your triumphant return to row against Tempo, and it was a vicious match, but you got the win. But unfortunately, he tried to target your arm and take you out for good. What have you been feeling after this, and what are your thoughts? You know, Emily, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna keep this short and sweet for you, okay? And I'm gonna talk right to you, Terrell Tempo. I'm not the type of guy who gets stuck on what's in the past. I'm the type of guy who figures out what he's gonna do about it. And right now, I'm gonna walk out there and I'm gonna wait for you and I'm gonna beat your ass, Tempo. defending against Hoka, and then the week after the main event, Gaspar Hernandez and Edge Stone, and we saw Edge Stone earlier tonight, Booker T giving him the King Booker T Championship. I just can't get over the fact that Booker T has got a picture of himself on the title. some heavies. Looks like Terrell Tempo rolling deep here tonight, Carolina. Super deep. I mean, you have to look at it from his side. He feels like all of our nation's conspired against him. He needs to have people on his side. Well, that is Luther and Big Q on his side. Terrell Tempo. Some uh, some artillery to back him up, man. That's that's a lot of that's a lot of muscle on the outside. But for Will all day, yeah. Now you gotta have some eyes in the back of your head. Oh, there oh, we go. That. There we go. That's one way to even the odds. Oof. Well, this is definitely personal. Yeah, and understandable. Understandable for Will all day, acting the way that he is right now. The fact that Will all day was able to beat Terrell Tempo with one good arm. And then Tempo after the match wanted to end Will Alday's career. He tried to. 
He tried to in a big missile baseball slide through the second and third rope. All day's fired up, Carolina. Definitely, and he's made it clear before. Half of him is better than all of Terrell Tempo. Nice catch. Oh, look at that. Like a cat. Will all day. No stranger to the main event. And we saw what happened between these two men in their last encounter. And again, crowd loves him some Will All Day Chris. <laughs> what is there to say? It's like the heartbeat of the reality of wrestling. Will All Day really, really gets the old. Oh, look at that. Up. Holy Ooh. smokes! Bam! Well, as Tina Turner said, what's love got to do with it? Because Terrell oh. Tempo doesn't give a damn who the Road Nation likes. They don't call him top talent Tempo for no reason. Man who sets the pace, who sets the rhythm, who sets the tempo in all of his matches. Terrell Tempo is a physical specimen, a pure athlete with a mixed martial arts background, with a collegiate athletic background, track, football. He is a super specimen when it comes to his athletic prowess. That's an impressive pedigree, Brad. But Will All Day says what he lacks in all of that experience, he makes up for in his agility, his athleticism, and his quickness. Get this Will All Day no slouch either. Oh, 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 man. He was a wide receiver. Uh, at the universe, uh, Rice University, and, and Rice Owl, coming from his own collegiate athletic background. But both these men, we're, we're lucky, Chris, they chose professional wrestling because they are incredible inside that squared circle. Well, we're all the better for it, but I think the way that Tempo has been carrying himself recently. Hey, oh, nope. Cover. Nice. One, two. Nice. There's a lot that's happened in Will's oh one boy, in Will's life over the last number of months, but he's not one to stew over what's happened in the past. Look oh, at that! Goodness. Look at that! That is a super, super athlete. And Luther and Big Q are just loving that on the outside. Cover one, two. This feels like deja vu with MJ Bell as referee. Tempo said he felt slighted and that MJ Bell kind of pulled a plug on him and forced him to lose against The hand hit the mat three times in that last match. Tempo thought it was in the bag, but MJ Bell did see that shoulder come up, called it a two, and just harboring and letting that pain fester for all these months since. Yeah, definitely. He's held that against them for the longest time, and he feels like this is a conspiracy. Wow, Whoa. look at that. All right, that's just, that's just Tempo flexing right now. Wait a minute. Will all day a day. Out of nowhere. You don't ever turn your back on your opponent, but especially Will All Day. Will All Day is electric, there's no doubt about it. He has never say die. He is always there who has a second win, and it only takes one autograph from Will All Day to change the outcome of a match. We've seen it oh so many times, and the faithful here at the Walker Texas Lawyer Arena are gearing up to see it again. Bang! Oh, nice! Reversal. Will all day. Had it scouted and boom! Big forearm there. Did you see that acceleration? Going off the ropes, gaining more and more speed. Oh, off, the top. off the top rope from Will all day. This is your main event this week on Reality of Wrestling. We want to thank you for joining us. You are in the middle of a treat right now as Will all day with a moonsault off the top rope. What a main event. Just punted tempo in, into the next county. Uh-oh. And we know what... Will All Day loves to do when he sees the. Uh oh. That's quite the roadblock. Will All Day. Or Wait a minute. No, no, no. Oh, he's still got over him. Don't go through the roadblock. Go over it. Damn. 
Will all day is about to put boots to ass. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, come on now. Oh! Luther and Big Q now putting hands on Will all day. And meanwhile, Tempo is just smiling the whole time as this assault is going on. This is unfair. Well, not this new tempo. We haven't seen this guy in years past. This is a new leaf. And now Big Q and Luther throwing Will all day to the Sharks, essentially. And here it is, pay and dividends. Adding insult to injury is Terrell Tempo. Not a way you want to see this main event end. Tempo trying to even his odds. This is uh, quite the impactful statement at the run. For executive producers Booker and Charmel Huffman, our director Kevin Bernhardt, and my broadcast colleagues Chris Russo and Carolina Teague, my name is the boat Brad Gilmore, and we will be back next week with the reality of wrestling. That's how you pay a dividend.